Vermin Love Supreme was a US presidential candidate who's been known to walk around with a boot on his head while carrying an enormous toothbrush. Vermin Supreme has made many promises to the public, but the ones that stand out the most involve a law requiring everyone in America to brush their teeth, research devoted to the concept of time travel, a free pony for every US citizen, and zombie apocalypse awareness. According to his insane website, Vermin Supreme even once donated a kidney, which he claimed makes him qualified to be the President of the United States. Tennessee's Basil Marceau has unsuccessfully run for office numerous times. The most recent of Basil's failed attempts was in 2010, when he tried to become the governor of Tennessee. Hilariously, during his election campaign, Basil Marceau's website proclaimed, Vote for me, and if I win, I will immune you from all state crimes for the rest of you life. And Basil's campaign platform not only included immunity from criminal prosecution in exchange for votes, but forbidding police from charging criminal suspects with anything but traffic violations, and plans to plant grass on vacant lots to sell for gasoline. The fact that Basil only had three teeth made it that much harder for him to get his message across to Tennessee's voters. And as a result, he finished with barely 1% of the vote. Have you ever looked at the White House and said, Man, I wish there was a convicted felon running the country. Well, that could have been the case had James Traficant won the 1988 US presidential election. James Traficant was a member of the House of Representatives in Ohio, but was later expelled after taking bribes, filing false tax returns, and forcing state employees to perform chores on his house boat. He served seven years in jail and was released in late 2009. Plenty of celebrities have attempted to run for president, but Roseanne Barr actually filed with the Federal Election Commission in 2012 under the Green Tea Party. Barr's candidacy promoted mental health and meditation, but also promised to send Wall Street bankers to re-education camps or be executed by beheading. Alaskan Senator Mike Gravel gained fame through a series of bizarre and unsettling campaign videos during the US 2008 presidential election. In one video, Gravel tried to sway potential voters by staring into a camera for minutes on end before throwing a rock into a lake. The other Gravel 2008 campaign video contained seven minutes of footage of a fire. Needless to say, Gravel did not win the election. The Natural Law Party was formed in 1992, and for the entirety of its hilarious life as a political party, John Hagelin was their candidate. Hagelin claimed that the real answer to terrorism was transcendental meditation. He even said that the world's problems could all be solved if world leaders all sat together in a room and meditated. Unsurprisingly, he did not win the election. Jack Shepard ran for numerous political offices in the United States while living in Rome. Jack Shepard had to live outside of the United States thanks to an outstanding warrant for his arrest issued after he was accused of arson when his home was burned to the ground. Shepard told authorities that someone kicked in his bedroom door and threw fire in his room. And in 2008, Shepard ran for president while living as a fugitive, probably so he could use the presidential pardon on himself if he won. While running for governor of Georgia, Neil Horsley promised to secede from the union if elected. When asked by a reporter what he would do if his son, who was a sergeant in the US Army, was sent to prevent Georgia from seceding, Horsley calmly said that he'd kill his own son. His other most insane moments include admitting on Fox News that he practiced bestiality as a kid, and his arrest while protesting outside of Elton John's house with the sign reading, Elton John must die. Toyama Koichi has ran for mayor of Tokyo every year since 2007, on a platform of how Japan sucks. In his bizarre speeches, he curses out his homeland and flips the bird at cameras to better drive his point home. Presidential candidate Jonathan Sharkey threw his hat into the ring representing the Vampires, Witches and Pagans party on several occasions since 2004. Jonathan the Impaler's platform is very tough on crime, as he believes that the prison system should be abolished and that criminals should be tortured and impaled. He also supports protecting the environment, but only because it pleases the goddess Hecate. We hope you all have a very happy Basil Marceau Christmas. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all in 2036 when I run for president under the top party official.